Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Prashant and welcome back to Tech Scene Zeri. On today's episode, we're building a neon acrylic sign. So if this is your first time here at Tech Scene Zeri, you better make sure you subscribe because we put out awesome tech related content every Wednesday. So to build your neon acrylic sign, there are three main parts. Your acrylic, whatever you're going to be using as a base, and the final part is your LEDs. So of these three, the first thing we had was our LEDs. So I went ahead and purchased a set of, well, it, it was 15 meters of LEDs with the power supply and the control unit, but I also purchased a extra so this is our LEDs. This is a strip of five meters. So yeah, as I was saying, I also purchased an Bluetooth controller for your phone. So that came separately and it is an LED mobile phone Bluetooth controller for this strip. So that's our LEDs sorted. So the next thing I had to worry about was our base. So the base could be made out of anything. I've seen people on the internet build it out of wood, but I wanted it a little more sophisticated looking. So that's where I reached out to our friends at Zetangle 3D Printing. So Zetangle 3D Printing is a local Durban based 3D printer. And I reached out to them and we spoke about dimensions and what I'm doing. So we created a base with two end caps for our sign and the base had a slot for our acrylic to fit into as well as a slit underneath the acrylic to slide our LED strips into. And the end product was nothing short of amazing. And I mean, when I saw it the first time, I was blown away at how sleek and how smart this thing looks. It, it, <laughs> There's, there's nothing more I can say, right? So if you'd like to get anything 3D printed, you can reach out to them, Zetangle underscore 3D. Uh, they are on Instagram. You can search them and I'll also link their Instagram uh, at the description of this video, right? So here we have our two end caps. And on one of our end caps, we worked on a little hole for our power connector to sit in for our controller, right? So our two end caps clip on like that. And the main reason for our end caps was just to make sure if we had to change the LED strips or even change the acrylic that we could get at it. So there's our caps and the center piece. And the final thing to talk about was our acrylic. And that brings us to today's video sponsor, Topline Manufacturers. So I've worked with Topline Manufacturers for many years and Topline Manufacturer is a proud supplier to Texine Zere as well as Daniel Media Productions. So they've done, well, we've done a lot of work with them. And when I told them what I was doing, they actually said, you know what, we'd like to sponsor this video. So they were gracious enough to actually have this acrylic engraved and sponsor it to us for this bird. So thank you very much Topline Manufacturers. Um, so we have our acrylic, we have our base, and we have our LEDs. Let's get down to building it. The first thing that we're going to do is take our LEDs and we're going to take out our pre-required lip. So when you buy strips of LEDs like this, if you look, you actually see that there are markings as to where you can cut the strips. So I have my pre-marked length here and I'm going to cut this out right here. Okay, so there we go. And here's our length for our light. So now I have the job of feeding this through. There's our LEDs fed through. Um, I'm going to attach this cap on now. And then on this side, we have the hole in the cap, and we're going to okay. 
Okay, so just to check that our LEDs are working. There we go. And what we can do, or what we're actually going to do, is stuff this into the side here. Okay, so now that that's been stuck, um, we have the honor of pushing our acrylic in and this was also printed to the exact dimensions of the acrylic which is three millimeters and then now we can squeeze our end cap on so the final step after clipping on the two end caps before we switch on the lights is actually cleaning up the acrylic. So what I'm going to use to clean this is anti-static fluid. So that normally is what we use to clean PC monitors and screens and stuff. That will also work well on this acrylic. So just polish it up. Make it look nice and clean. Edges, back. And as you can see, I have my power cable here. Now we do the honors of plugging it in. Yeah, so that brings us to the end. So besides the things that I did, there are some alternatives to building your LED neon light. So the first one, as I mentioned earlier, is making a wooden base instead of a plastic base. But I think mine looks perfectly awesome in this black plastic base. The second thing is I've seen people, I've had this machine engraved, right? I've seen people who actually just take normal acrylic and scuff it up with sandpaper in the text that they wanted to say and they get quite a similar result. This was an awesome build guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving me a like rating if you did. And don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel, make sure you head over to shop.techscenezeri.co.za and get yourself a TechScenezeri shirt. So today I'm wearing the gaming culture, always in control shirt. Make sure you get your shirt before they run out. So that's the end guys, my name is Prashad and I'll see you in the next video.